so we will uh, we will get into the next part now so since we have covered a lot about customers we've got covered about kano model uh, we covered about what is voc converting voc to ctq now we'll get into the defined phase project charter and business case uh, which i said uh, earlier that which is a very very important document yes you think uh, so something while, yeah i'm so sorry while you were gone we were having a discussion uh, i have just a bit of a discussion on the ctq bit uh when we say uh, uh while you were leaving you just mentioned that we can only have one ctq but in in reality uh, you can have multiple ctqs uh, and not decide only on one that was my question okay okay, okay. so when i said yes there can be multiple ctqs and there can be multiple projects which we can do for each of the ctqs okay and therefore we can and the reason is very very simple because in one project we focus on only on one goals so for example if during the exercise that we have done from converting voc to ctq and we identified that there are many ctqs which we needs to uh, focus on and the organization says out of these four ctqs let's focus on these two ctqs likewise example that we have just taken uh, the web example work in progress so now there can be two multiple projects to be done and the remaining two which the organization believe these are not very important ctqs we probably not work on so there can be multiple ctqs but for for project there can be one and i was also saying one thing which thanks for reminding thanks for reminding i said there can be one ctq for one project but there could be multiple other benefits that we can mention but in that particular case my measure of success would not be to gain other men so for example so for example if i am doing a project on improving productivity okay and i mentioned the other benefits of improving productivity is that i would be able to increase my employee satisfaction score also because they would be more productive they will be more happy they will be getting more recognition and they will be able to uh, put, they, they will get motivated and i and i said with the help of that i would be able to uh, improve my customer satisfaction just an example i'm saying so that's an other kpi that i'm talking about tomorrow if my productivity target reaches to the target but my employee satisfaction doesn't improve i would not call it as that my project is failed my project is passed i have said this could leads to other benefit okay so just remember the difference between the ctq ctq is the critical to quality which my customer is asking for which my business is asking for which is very very important right now which i'll be doing a project on but with the help of that i can have cost save i can generate more revenue i can improve my customer satisfaction i can increase my productivity i can increase a market share those are the other benefits okay so so always keep that in mind Perfect. So those will be the other KPIs that you are talking of. Yes. So when I show you the business chart, when I show you the project charter template, I'll sh I'll show you where it needs to be mentioned. You can all because that would make your business case more stronger. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, and then we will have more uh, discussion on. Okay. Okay. Now we will get into a project charter. project charter is a very very important document or a framework which needs to be looked at each and every stage of the project this clearly lays out that what is expected out of this project what is that one thing that we are focusing on and which which we want to look so that is a one clear framework which gives me the end to end that what i am currently looking from this project okay so there are certain components which we need to keep in mind while preparing a project charter okay so the activities that which are performed under the project charter are business case problem statement so problem statement is also known as opportunity statement there are few organization who say that we not call it as a problem we call it as an opportunity so it's one of the same thing don't get confused when someone says that i want you to mention the opportunity statement then there is a goal statement that like what is that goal that we are expected out of the ctq or this metric or this area that i am focusing on then what is the scope of the project i'll discuss all of the all of these in detail i'm just mentioning the activities right now 
what is that scope? Uh, what are the boundaries that we, I want this opportunity to be restricted at? Uh, the different milestones. I'm, I'm going to divide my project. This is like a project plan. So these are the things that are majorly part of the project channel. Now, in order to write a strong business case, okay, there are a few guidelines which you need to follow. Probably you can make a note of it also. It is not mentioned in my slides. Uh, but you can always put it uh, on your notepad or maybe you're using a laptop, you want to put it on your notepad. Also. And before this, I want to tell you that your project charter should be so much strong enough which would have a lot of fact and figures because this would be presented to the one who's impacted. Okay. There are chances that he's aware of this problem. You are writing this business charter for, and there are chances that he's not even aware. He's not even aware that this problem is there. So for to keep that in mind, it should have those components in such a way that he forgets everything. He forgets all the priorities that he's working on and he focuses on that. So that's how the strong, that's how a stronger business case needs to be there. I'm not using the word strong here. I'm using the stronger or strongest, uh, which means that it, it, he should forget all the other priorities that he's looking at and he should, but the fact and figure has to be real. It, it's, it should not, should not mention any assumptions, should not mention any fictitious data, which we anticipate. It should be all fact and figures because he's the one who's going to validate it also. But yes, it has to be mentioned in such a way. Okay. In business case, there are three things that you need to mention when you write a business case. So for example, you all have been identified as a project leaders and you've been given certain CTQs that yes, this is a CTQ which needs to be uh, looked at. Now how you write a business case, you should know certain guidelines. The first thing that you should keep in mind, just make a note of it, the overview of that particular process, the overview of that particular function, the introduction, the basic one or two liners about that, what does that function do? So for example, if there's a project that you would be doing it for operations for that particular team, just mention what that team does, just a basic introduction about. Second thing which you would mention it is as the need of doing this project. Why am I doing this project? What is the need? Okay. Which are wherein you can mention that uh, if we take an example of improving the attrition. So you would mention certain numbers there that in the last financial year, always keep in mind, uh, we discussed it earlier also, DMAC project has to be done on a historical data. Okay. So for that, you need to have a certain six months, nine months, 12 months down the line project data. And basis that you mentioned the average that for the last one year or maybe last nine months, uh, this is a current situation. Okay. And you could also mention the impact due to that, how much business is being lost, how much revenue is being leaked, how much cost has been incurred. Okay because these are the numbers the business leader would be interested in. So first, the overview of the process. Second, the need of doing this project. And third, why it is an urgency of doing this project. What are the consequences of not doing this project? Okay. So these three things, if you clearly articulate in a business case, you would be able to write a strong business case. Okay. So that these are three things which you keep in mind. So whenever you have a VOC or a CTQ, when you want to write a business case, just keep these things in mind so that tomorrow, if you are at a receiving end, how would you look at that opportunity and would you give a go ahead to look at this opportunity? So keep in mind all the fact and figures in terms of how much is the impact, why are we doing this project and what is the, uh, what is the introduction to this project? So that is, you should mention in the part of 